Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into a Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in this particular one, I'm going to get into how to edit a flight plan manually. Um, I'm, I, I forgot to add this into the actual thing, and you probably will want to do something like this and something so extensive like this, because what happens is, after so many waypoints, the system starts freaking out, and it'll try to link up places halfway across the world, um, even like here, I had to manually tailor some of this uh, within the save files so it actually goes around because it was trying to link up like here to here as one route. And it's just some weird stuff. So, as far as that goes, uh, first things first is once you get everything done, you need to go in here and save it. Following that, I highly recommend going ahead and making a copy of it and just changing the original. And the point of that is, um, once you got everything set up, the point of that is that because this is so extensive, if you even zoom in too too close, it will the game will start freaking out and it will almost crash. Um, it freezes for a very very long time, basically. And then when you jump in, just looking around the cockpit, it, it it's like every thirty seconds you might be able to turn your head just a quarter, and it just it just sucks. You can't do anything with that so with that what i recommend is one uh, one that you're going to edit what you're going to do is you need to keep in mind the flight type and the cruise not to you can edit those things anytime the departure and stuff like that i really want you know pay attention to it i believe some of this you can change and get them to say some weird stuff over radio like this i think you can get them to say something weird over radio um and and these i, th I haven't tested it yet but I think if you change that, you'll say something weird over the uh, GPS. But other than that, you know, everything works the same. So how this works is basically each airport or each area is within that ATC waypoint, blah, 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 and closing statement, ATC waypoint. Even something like here where Statue of Liberty, ATC waypoint, blah, 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 ATC waypoint. And that's fairly important. So I'm not really sure what happens if you're above an area. Maybe it just by default puts you above, you know, a certain uh, uh, height automatically and just puts you in that position right there. I haven't really played with that to that degree. But let's say, for example, right here where I'm obviously not going to fly this entire route in one day. So in last night where I flown from here to New York, uh, what I could do is simply go and um, take out everything before the New York runway and go from there and, um, you know, everything be good. So as far as that goes, just note that. Note that, um, like say for example right here, if we load it in, you might be wondering about, okay, you want to start on a given parking pad. So let's lo let that load up. And you can see here, it, um, you know, it just loads up to the point that, you know, I don't really think I'm going to make it past there today. So it doesn't really matter, but I can say uh, start at parking pad, whatever. And you see here, it doesn't really change anything. Um, I can even say departure, whatever. It, I mean, you know, some of that really doesn't matter as far as that goes, but I can, I can go from there. But just note, if you change things too, too much, then it could run into certain problems. So just note that. Like say for, and, and if that's the case, you know, you can just load things up if you don't like how it looks and, and run fit. But um, like right here, I can say, again, parking, whatever, and go from there. And even scroll in and see where exactly it wants me to start at. So I can see, is this going to be close enough? And is this going to get me on the runway quick enough? Or am I going to be on the other side airport and have to deal with that? So that's something to note. Um, now, as far as things goes, if you do have any questions, anything else, then feel free to leave that in the comments section. Um, and if you find that is some tricks to modify things, like for example, I think, I don't know because I haven't played with it yet, but I think you can actually get the ATC person. Uh, the the person on your end, or maybe even on the other person's end, to say certain weird things, 
And I think you can get a GPS to say pretty much anything you want, as long as you change the very exact lines. Um, if you played with that, let me know, um, because I'm probably going to play with that a little bit later. And if you know of any other things you can mess around with like that to get it to do something weird, then also let me know, and I, I will take a look at that. But anyways, as far as that goes, hopefully it helps you out. Just leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next video. Have a great day.